So what's your name? Um, Kira. Kira? Kira, yeah. Kira. Alright, so we have a uh, sister Kira over here and alhamdulillah she uh, took her shahada, she embraced Islam and her mom is also here who is supporting her, right? But I'm just so curious, mashallah, such a young uh, sweet girl, she uh, embraced Islam. What made her to study Islam and now alhamdulillah to embrace Islam? Sister Kira, go ahead. So I had always been introduced to Muslims from all the traveling around the country that we did. And I decided to do research, like why do women wear, why do women wear the hijab? And I just did research and I kind of like walked away from it and I just kept it on the back burner in my mind. And I just did research occasionally from there. And um, then I met my friend Shiza and I decided to really get into it and really um, learn more about it. And so that's how I came to Islam and to embrace Islam. How do you feel when you are wearing the hijab? Do you feel different? How do you feel? Okay, I, I, do, I do feel different. I don't feel pressures from society to be like wearing makeup, uh, wearing like a cute hairstyle. Like I don't feel any of those societal pressures anymore. And I feel like I can really be me and myself without worrying how I look on the outside. Wonderful. You know, you have your mom over here. Uh, mom, what's your name? Uh, Sarah. Sarah. Sarah, how do you feel your daughter, right? She made a really important decision in her life. How do you feel about her becoming a Muslim? She did. She made a really big decision. So we've always encouraged our children to um, follow their own path, whatever that was. Um, and Kira came to me and told me she was researching Islam. Um, and so we supported her in that, and she read the Quran and said that it spoke to her, and she's had positive improvements to her overall self. Um, and so, yeah, we're at the beginning of the journey, but it's been good so far, and I'm just doing my best on supporting her and how I can do that. Have you also read the Quran, by the way? I know your daughter, perhaps she did. What about you? <laughs> Here has. I have not read it. Um, mm -hmm. I'm beginning to read it in English. So, um, yeah, working on it. Looks like you have a gift back. And you want to show the gift back? What do you have yeah. on the other side? Yes. Yep, I got some really good uh, information. I actually have a copy of the Quran. Oh, wow, that's a translation. Nice. Yes, yes. yes. So I'm going to start reading that. Um, some really good information. Uh, questions. Yeah, the 50 common questions people ask. Yes. yes. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited to start reading up and supporting Kira how I can. Kira, what one message that you have to other youth, other kids who may also be searching for the truth? They may have so much societal pressure. What message that you have for them? Um, I just say to be yourself, and it's okay to question things. Like, if you're from a different religion, you're like, I don't think this is for me. It's okay to question it. Like, it's okay to hunt for the truth because it's out there. You just have to find it. What in Islam that you like the most, by the way? There are so many wonderful things in Islam, right? Yes, uh, I'd say definitely the women's rights because I believe that they have definitely changed and I do not believe that Islam oppresses women, which is another thing that I like because I know in Christianity and other religions that women were definitely oppressed and that's why I really, uh, one of the reasons why I really like Islam. Can you mention one of the rights that Islam gave to women that she said, you know, wow, that's so wonderful. What right came to your, comes to your mind? So I had run across the right for women to own property, which at the time was like unthinkable. And so I thought that was a very uh, big step into um, women's rights. And that was really you know, in Islam, Islam gave women the right to own property in the 7th century. In Illinois, in USA, not until 1861, that a married lady, she won the right to a property, right? And Islam gave that right 1400 years ago. Yes. And many, many rights that Islam gave to women, right? They have the right to education. They know that the oldest continuous university in the whole world, it was built by a Muslim lady. It was built by a Muslim girl, actually. Just like you, she wore the hijab and she made the oldest continuous university. Yes. Awesome. That's amazing, correct? Yeah. She has the right to work if the need arises. Whatever she earns, it only belongs to her.
they have the right not to be forced into marriage. So what one message that you have for your mom? Let's see. Um, to keep researching Islam because there's so much more that even I don't know about. And there are so many wonderful things in it that I want her to know as well. And I want her to experience. And I just hope that she makes the right choices for herself, no matter what that might be. Alright, and you wish your mom to also join you one day? Yes, I do.